Did you ever find yourself in the situation where you wanted to add subs to your stack, but you cannot find the files anymore? If this is the case, then this is the video you were looking for, because I will try to show how I organize my files. And in the end, I will show some results that I got recently. My name is Martin Schoenmaker, and I call myself Koplamp on this channel. If you are here for the first time, welcome. If you are a returning visitor, thanks for your support. So recently I bought an external hard drive a quite large one, five terabytes of space. And this forced me into rethinking how I organized my files. So I, st I started copying files to this hard drive and I realized pretty quickly that it would become a mess if I didn't thought it over first. What I came up with was the following. So I have my astrophotography folder and I try to organize things by uh, object type. So I have images I shot of comets, I have DSO objects, planetary and solar, time lapses, wide fields. I store some uh, other stuff that are ast astrophotography related but not really categorizable or able to be put in a category. And there are folders that do not really fit in one of the uh, previously mentioned categories such as for instance this these are some yeah some images I shot on uh, on a cold winter night and yeah I saved them don't know why actually but yeah you know how this goes when you have the room for it the biggest impactful thing I think is how to store the deep sky objects for this, I created this structure. I store everything by object name because the biggest uh, benefit I get from this is being able to find the data I shot on a certain object. For instance, the Helix Nebula, I shot that with uh, yeah, three types of telescopes. So this is the second level. I store the focal length of the uh, pictures that I shot. Um, and because focal length is mostly determined by either the lens or the telescope, I also write the name of the telescope. So in this case, a Telefoot Pronto. I shot data on uh, the 8th of uh, August in 2019. So this is yet another level, the date. And I write the location and the camera and some other specific things so in this case i used an h alpha clip-in filter and then i yeah just basically uh, copy paste files and folders uh, as you store them usually so lights darks flats whatever you uh, have on it and another example oh one so i i shot it with my edge hd um, I did it on the roof terrace of the Cosmos Observatory. Uh, you probably or hopefully seen the video about it. I will link it in the in the top of this uh, of this video. And all the data is here. So th these are some processed files already. Uh, and uh, this is a, a picture that Trevor uh, shot from Astro Backyard just to uh, to see how lousy my picture was. <laughs> And uh, in case you are wondering, this was my picture. And I also shot this in 2020 in October, also from the roof terrace in, uh, of the Cosmos Observatory. And in this case, the, uh, the picture was a lot less stunning as, uh, as the one with the Edge HD. But should I want to add these subs to the subs I shot with the Edge HD, then now I have the possibility to do so. So let's go over it again. Um, I have 
the object ID and perhaps an object name. I do the focal length uh, of the telescope and perhaps the name of the telescope. If I have um, completed uh, end results, then I can store them within the folder because yeah, it's in the object folder. So uh, perhaps I want to, uh, to, to make a library of uh, end results. And within the focal length, I, I store the date of the shot object and perhaps also the location and other specifics such as the use of a certain filter for instance. And then I store all the data in that uh, folder. So that is how I organize my data for deep sky objects. Um, planetary and solar, yeah, obviously I store all the planet names and the sun and the moon I consider also planetary so I put them in the same folder and in such a folder again the focal length, the telescope, the location and time, uh, I mean date and then uh, some results. Um, very stunning. <clears throat> Conjunctions I added because sometimes multiple planets or objects are close to each other. Yeah, where to store them? Well, I uh, decided to make a conjunctions folder. Time lapses, yeah, these are literally time lapses. Nothing more, nothing less. And the Whitefields folder contains images of entire constellations and mosaics. Okay, let's grab, grab a, a cup, cup of, of coffee. coffee. Oh, uh, yeah. thank you and uh, watch the compilation of the images I recently took. Um, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe if you like my content. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.